What's good, everybody? Welcome to Mets, Nets, Jets, D podcast. I'm coming to you on a Monday afternoon. We don't have much time, so I'm going to go through this real quickly. Uh, On today's slate, we don't have much, but uh, we have one NHL hockey game playoff. And we have a small slate in MLB. In hockey, I'm go with the higher seed, San Jose Sharks. Uh, they are home. Something about uh, teams that have been home have been uh, handling business so far. Boston uh, has been handling business at home, and now they're going to be away against Carolina. And I think San Jose does the same to the Blues. Uh, late, maybe later in the series, they'll um, one team will upset another team at at home. But I don't see that today. I would take the Sharks. If I was choosing that, but for our bet purposes, our parlay that we will do for today, I'm going to avoid that Orioles Yankees game. Um, Jonathan Luizaga uh, was sent to the IL and uh, Luis Sessa was named the starter. I don't trust that. Um, I don't like Luis Sessa, even though David Hess and the Baltimore Orioles are trash. Um, for some reason, Baltimore Orioles have a weird thing against the Yankees. Uh, Yankees struggle against them. Uh, Luis Sessa probably wasn't ready for this game. He's being rushed and called up. It's going to be real uh, wet and rainy in New York. Uh, I'm going to avoid that game, even though it has the biggest minus 240. So if you're looking for profit, plus 205 is great. I might take that chance on the Orioles, knowing their history against the Yankees, um, if I'm risky, if I want to be risky. So I'm going to go to the Baltimore, not Baltimore. We we'll go to the Milwaukee Brewers versus the Phillies. Uh, Freddie Peralta has a horrible ERA. He's in the upper five ERAs currently this year. Um, Nola struggled earlier this season, but has a stretch of the last three games with uh, two or fewer runs in each game. Uh, he's coming on. He's home. I'm feeling the, uh, the Phillies today against the Milwaukee Brewers. Um the next game, Astro Tigers. Uh, this is another game that is is speaking to me that I want to take the the underdog, the plus one forty three Tigers. I'm not gonna do it in this video, but I might do on a separate bet. I love Matthew Boyd. He is their ace. He has been pitching lights out so far this season. Um, he is a lefty, which it warns me against the Houston Astros who are top five in the league against left-handed pitching. But this is not your ordinary lefty. Um, I'm going to avoid this. A lot of people will click Houston Astros easily. But they are on a... They were on a um, winning streak, winning five in a row. And now they are... Which they're, they're 16-4 at home. Now they're going away, which they're 10-11. and 11, um, Facing the Tiger team at home, which is 9-8. and eight. Uh, you can kind of flip a coin. Maybe the the run of the Houston Astros um, comes to an end, and the Tigers get their second win in the last past two games. Uh, I'm going to skip that one. Uh, the next game I'm going to go to is the LA Angels and the Minnesota Twins. Uh, Tyler Skaggs coming off a horrible outing. Uh, gave up seven earned runs. I don't. He's so up and down. But this is the Angels' best pitcher. Um, not too much to write about him. But uh, Minnesota Twins are home. I would lean the Twins. Jose Barrios. We have an elite pitcher at home. I would lean him against a shaky lefty in Tyler Skaggs. All right. So I would lean Twins uh, with the money line of one forty eight. But I'm not going to pick that. Right. The next game, we got Shane Bieber and the uh, Cleveland Indians. This is a game I do like. Uh, I'm going to just pick Shane Bieber and the Cleveland Indians. Uh, high strikeout guy. Um, Renato Lopez is horrible. He's absolutely horrible. He has uh, another pitcher that's five-plus ERA. Him, Lucas Giolito is another bad pitcher. Um, White Sox rotation is not that good other, other than Colos, Carlos Rodon. Um, but he's just gotten an injury, actually. So I'm going to be picking the Indians. They have been on a losing streak, I believe. 
Uh, they were they did lose three in a row. Salvaged their series, a four game series, one um the other day. So I think they're on the up and up, and they should handle Ronaldo Lopez easily, even though that their offense struggles so much. Um, next game we have nine forty uh, Pittsburgh Pirates against the Arizona Diamondbacks. This is a surprise team in the Diamondbacks. Robbie Ray, huge huge strikeout guy. Caper nine is through the roof. And you have the Pittsburgh Pirates that can't really hit. Um, I'm taking the Humidor in Arizona. I'm taking the home team. Um, they can. I trust the Diamondbacks to get to Nick Kingham, and then I trust Robbie Ray to strike out these horrible um, offensive bats in, of the Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, and in the last game, I am going to choose. Uh, I'm going to go with my, the Mariners. All right. They're the home team. Michael Fears is coming off a, was it, no hitter? Yeah, he's coming off a no hitter. See, the thing with the athletics, they're they're sneaky. At home, in that huge ballpark, beware. They usually, they tend to win because the pitching tends to show up. Away, they don't have that advantage of that huge ballpark and that huge wall. And it's, they're just they, they're a different team. Jekyll and Hyde. I like um, Kikuchi. He's shown um, that he's he belongs in the MLB, and I think the Mariners win today. All right. Uh, Michael Fear is probably come back to to reality in this one. So, in my bet slip, I have Phillies, Indians, Diamondbacks, and Mariners. We're gonna put five like we do, like we do on every video, which is fine. Thirty seven ninety five. I'll take that profit. I'm going to lock it in. Uh, that's going to be all for today. Please um, follow me on Twitter at MessNestD. MessNestD. Um, if I have any other thoughts, I will put up a tweet. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I will continue to try to do consistent videos uh, on a regular basis every day. I will try. If not, I will try to put up uh, pics on my Twitter if I can't r reach uh, YouTube at the time. All right. So good luck. See you guys tomorrow. Peace.